Giving the island's law enforcement community more time to get in shape, Senator Talina Nelson's Bill 165 was highly debated on session floor. The measure would modify the Air Force physical fitness standards that GovGuam's public safety community are required by law to meet by this December. In order to save the jobs of, of um, and also the concerns of public safety, because if we lose over 50 percent of our force, you know, that causes a threat. Senator Mike St. Nicholas took issue with the measure. We have peace officers who meet the standard. And the rationale is that, well, because we have so many and it's going to put us at risk, we've got to lower it. And I'm concerned with the precedence that sets. Sometimes we just got to say no. Though a co-sponsor of the bill, Senator Mary Torres admits she was disturbed with some of the changes in the measure. Perhaps we should just get rid of the whole thing, just repeal it. If you're going to make it to, you're going to lower your standards to the point where it doesn't even make sense to have a standard, it's quite laughable at that point, but more so pathetic. Her argument comes as individual law enforcement agencies have until next summer to submit their own physical fitness standards. She says there is no need for this interim standard. Torres, however, motioned to amend the law to change the implementation of the standards from three to five years, but it did not move forward. With all the talk about the threat of losing officers due to the new law, Speaker B.J. Cruz defended his involvement. It was not something that I wanted to, to impose on people. It was requested. And I also didn't want to get up and speak, but I had to because it just kept coming up by the, speak the speakers before me that somehow this December, my legislation or the legislation that I introduced was going to be responsible for half the police force being thrown out. Cruz adds the law states they would have four chances to meet the standards before any disciplinary action is taken.